Absolutely. I'd uh, love to have a, a good Aussie Open performance. So um, I've broken the ice, so hopefully I can um, get through a few matches here. Well, I, I think you've got to, yeah, I've got to look at this first round and I don't know my opponent, so it's going to be a tough one and you've got to, I guess, work things out as I get out there and go through the match. So um, first things first, try and get through this first round and play each round um, on its merits. Um, you know, everyone's out here trying to do well and play well. So yeah, at the end of the day, uh, my goal, I think, has got to be to play well and, and do the best I can every time I'm out on the court and hopefully that's going to mean I'll get to play uh, quite a few matches. Here. Oh, much better um, this time around. So I think I've definitely learned a lot and um, experienced a lot more in the last 12 months and 18 months and um, definitely gotten a bit more used to the, the spot that I'm in now. So hopefully that's going to put me um, you know, in, in a good position for this year's tournament and um, yeah, the, the more time you get to experience this kind of, um, I guess, attention and, and playing in front of these crowds can only help you. So I've done that for another 12 months now, so hopefully that'll be a, be a good time for me. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's all part of um, being in the ranking position that I'm in. And right from when I was a, a young kid, I wanted to be as high as what I could be. And if this is what comes along with all that, then I think you've got to embrace it and enjoy it. And, um, and um, yeah, because it's could all be gone tomorrow so I guess while it's there um, enjoy it and um, yeah and make the most of where I'm at. Um, I don't want to look at it as pressure I want to look at it more as everyone's behind me and, and wanting me to do well and um, yeah just basically wanting me to win as many matches as I can so um, yeah like I said I know there's more attention and more spotlight on me and my matches but at the end of the day I think most people are wanting me to do well so um, I think that's a really good position to be in and um, you know, Australians love their sport and getting behind our, our athletes, so I'm glad that I can be one of those people. Well, I think, yeah, a lot of things have got to go right for you to win a Grand Slam. You've got to play extremely well, maybe get a bit lucky sometimes and, um, yeah, and, and have all the pieces fall together. So um, hopefully the next 14 days can be that way for me. But, uh, yeah, there's a long way to go from first round to, to winning the event. But I'll definitely be doing everything I can to try and get there. Yeah, it can make it a little more difficult in, um, in, in some ways and in other ways I guess it means that you just focus on yourself and, and what you've got to do and how you want to play. So um, I think as the, I don't know, maybe today I can find out who she is and find out a little bit more about her and uh, when I get out there and play it, yeah, it is a matter of feeling out, um, you know, what, what she likes, what she doesn't like and really use the warm up in the first few games to get a, a grip on the situation and, um, and yeah, but at the end of the day I guess focus on what I've got to do and Hopefully that's going to be enough. Yeah, absolutely. I think any time uh, you know, the Australians can do well, men or women, um, it's a boost. So obviously for, for Yaka to win Hobart, that's fantastic for her and, and women's tennis in general. So um, I think that's a, a really good um, you know, warm-up and she's had a great preparation to the event. And hopefully we can all look at that and, and want to achieve the same kind of thing. Oh, well, I think it's, a, again, a, a great initiative um, of the tennis community all coming together. Obviously, we, we did it last year for the, for the Haiti victims, and um, I think this one being so close to home um, it really you know, it makes it that extra. You want to do that a little bit more. So um, I don't think we can really understand how what's happening up there and, and what they're all going through, but if we can try and raise as much money as we can and, and um, pull our little family of the, the tennis group together for, for a few hours and I think that's going to be fantastic. Oh, well, pretty high up there I think, I guess, uh, you know, it's, I grew up playing on hard courts and they're pretty similar hard courts, almost a hard court, so I guess I get to practice on this surface all, all through December when I'm here and then um, you've got the lead up tournaments and I think given um, the right conditions and all that, I think it can definitely suit my game and um, I mean, compared to the other Grand Slams, there's lots of, lots of differences and lots of things that I like about, you know, most of them. So it's, um, I can't say it's necessarily my favourite, but um, it's, uh, it's a, I think it's a good surface and, you know, given, uh, you know, you get some heat.